everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be trying to pull an all-nighter and I've only been able to pull an all-nighter once and that was when I had three other friends with me at a hotel and that was also two or three years ago and I honestly love sleep so I'm not usually the person to be staying up super late but this video is super requested so I decided to do it for you guys. I will also be doing a little Q&A all throughout the night so if you want to skip to like a certain topic of questions you can go look at the timestamps down below but you are going to come along with this fun journey with me. It is currently 9 30 p.m. well actually 9 29 but like same thing and I'm going to do like my whole nighttime routine so yeah let's do that. Okay, hi guys. So I am out of the shower. It's currently 10 o'clock and I gathered some things that I wanted to use like in this all nighter to keep me awake. Also, I turned off the LED lights cause they make weird lines on the screen and I did not want you guys to have to deal with that for the whole night. So we just have these curtain lights on. Once again, this is also like a Q and A video. So if you just want to skip to the questions, like I said before, the timestamps are like on the little timeline, but they're also in the description. And then when I'm not answering questions, I'm just going to do some fun like like all-nighter activities but to start off my night I want to show you guys like my little haul of things that I want to do or like use in this all-nighter okay so I turned on my little lamp on my desk so that you guys had some better lighting the things that I have like prepared for this all-nighter are two hair ties because I do want to French braid my hair and I also want to do a face mask so this one is the K Bella brand and I have the revitalizing strawberry peel off mask I also have my beads here because I don't know if you guys have seen on TikTok I'll put a video on the screen right now but people have been making these super cute rings out of them and literally all you need are the beads and a straightening iron so that's what I have I've literally had those beads since like 2019 summer when they were like popular for bracelets so I'm gonna use those my straightening iron I don't ever use the straightening iron because my hair is naturally straight but if I need touch-ups or I want to curl my hair with this I will and then you do also need some like parchment paper to put on the little like parts where the beads will go so that you don't like burn them and it's like easier to get off I guess or like they don't stick. I don't know, but we have those. I of course have a water bottle with some ice cold water because it is important to stay hydrated and I know I'm gonna get thirsty. And lastly, we have a snack bag. So I'm gonna try not to snack too much tonight because that's just not very good. But I did put some snacks in here for if I watch a movie or if I get hungry because I know that all of us at some point have gotten hungry in the middle of the night. So yeah, that is all the kind of stuff that I have for this all nighter. Obviously I have other things that I can do, but that's kind of what I prepared. So the first thing that I want to do before I start answering some questions is braid my hair because I prefer to braid it when it's wet. And then after that, I think I'll do the face mask. <laughs> Okay, so I just put the face mask on and it's like a pink tinted clear peel off mask. So that is why my face looks like this. But while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to answer my first little round of questions. So my first topic that I'm gonna be answering tonight is questions about YouTube. So basically I asked you guys for questions on my Instagram story and YouTube community tab. And I got a good amount of like YouTube related questions. So I put them all together in this one category. They're not really in a certain order. So I'm just gonna go through them and answer them for you guys. So the first one is why did you start YouTube? I've answered this question before but for a really long time I loved filming and editing videos like in elementary school I would literally film like fake YouTube videos and edit them on iMovie just to like have them like I wouldn't post them anywhere So I've always enjoyed doing that type of stuff and then when quarantine hit in 2020 I was bored and I just thought of an idea of making a YouTube channel. So that's where it all started. What is my favorite? favorite thing about doing YouTube. So I think the best part about doing YouTube is definitely all of my supporters and I guess like my platform I guess that I've made for myself and just being able to make and produce videos for people. Does your paycheck, number of views, or success affect you and your videos? So I think what this question is asking is like if I got like a lower paycheck would that affect how I make my videos? And the answer to that is no. My paycheck does not determine how like good I make my videos. I try to make 
make every video as good as I can. The paycheck is just a bonus to that, so it's definitely not something that would affect that. Who inspired you to make a channel or who inspires you now? So when I first started my channel, nobody really inspired me, but some YouTubers who have made an impact on me and my channel, like helped me in some sort of way or gave me inspiration are Kenna Marie, Annie Long, and a couple others. I'll put them on the screen right now. You guys should definitely go check all of them out. And yeah, so they're the ones who inspire me. Were you or are you camera shy? So I don't think I realized it at that time, but when I first started my videos, I definitely think I was a little bit camera shy. Like I wasn't used to talking to a camera and I guess I'm kind of still working on that. I'm trying to be as open to you guys as possible. What is your long-term subscriber goal? So for the year of 2021, my subscriber goal is 50,000. Do you get made fun of for having a YouTube channel? I've gotten this question so many times and the answer is no. I don't think I've experienced any like person making fun of me for a YouTube channel. Obviously there's people at school who will make jokes about it, but it's not necessarily like making fun of me. Do you have any tips for small YouTubers? So I would consider myself a small YouTuber, but I have a whole playlist on like YouTube help videos and I believe I already have one for like how to grow your channel and like tips like that. So if you guys want to go check out that playlist, it'll be up here in the iCard. And I'll see you guys when the face mask is all dry. Here's my mask off. I did get it all in one piece. I'm just gonna go put on my moisturizer for my skincare routine and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I just put my moisturizer on. It's currently 11.30 and I say on a weekend, I'm usually still up at this time like editing or something, but I'm gonna take a look at my little like notes list that I made of things to do. Okay, so I think the next thing that I wanna do is attempt to make those beaded ring things that I was talking about earlier. I'm not not quite sure how well this is going to go, but it's worth a try. So I'm gonna go over to like the floor over there by the outlet so that I can plug in the straightening iron and then get started on this DIY. All right, hi everyone, welcome to my floor. Once again, the materials for this DIY are some beads, a hair straightener, and then some parchment paper. You could also use like tweezers to like peel it off, but I think I might just use scissors because I don't know where my tweezers are. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm going to put parchment parchment paper around these two parts so that it is protected. This is gonna take a couple of tries. Like my parchment paper keeps sliding everywhere. So I did like paper clips on each end of it to like hold it in place. Obviously the paper clips will not be going on the heated part, but it just like holds it perfectly in place. So I have the beads on here as you can see, but now we're just gonna push it together. And I think I just wait for these to like melt. I'm also using the scissors to like push down this other side so that hopefully it's even because it's too hot for my fingers. Okay, I was too slow and I wasn't able to bend it in time before it hardened, so it broke in half. Let's try again. Okay, so this one actually worked. So while I make like one more maybe of a different color, I'm gonna answer the next round of questions and that is basically my favorites. So I got a good amount of like favorite questions like what's your favorite food, favorite anything. So I put them all into like a section and while I make like another one of these rings, I'm gonna answer what my favorite things are. What are your favorite places to shop at? I would say my favorite places are Paxa, Princess Polly and then I do also like to shop at Target because they sometimes have cute clothes that are cheaper than like normal stores that you would buy them from. What is your favorite color? So I don't really have a favorite color but if I had to pick colors that I like currently I would say white, sage green, bubblegum pink and I think that's it. I like all pastel colors as well. What are your favorite slash most used emojis? So I'll put like my most used emojis on the screen right now. I'm literally just taking these off of what is on like my phone keyboard at the time I'm going to be editing this video. What is your favorite season? So I like all the seasons pretty equally because you just get different aesthetics with each different like season. So yeah, I don't really necessarily have like a number one favorite. What is your favorite Starbucks drink? So this actually depends on like the time of year I'd have to say. So 
if it's more winter time, it'll probably be some kind of frappuccino. Currently, my favorite Starbucks drink is a lemonade with six pumps of raspberry and strawberry acai on top. You guys, that drink is seriously delicious, and it's also just so refreshing. So if you haven't tried it out yet, definitely go try it. Meanwhile. Okay, so to give you guys a little update on where we're at, it's currently 1220, and I'm not really that tired yet, which is honestly kind of surprising for me because I'm usually tired by this time of the night, but I'm kind of getting hungry, so I think what I'm gonna do is watch like YouTube or something and have some of my snacks. Hey guys, I was watching some YouTube and eating some snacks. So what we're gonna do is answer another little topic of questions. The next topic is life. So these questions are basically just things like about me and my life. And while I'm answering your questions, I'm gonna be eating some M&Ms. The first question of this category is one that I got the most out of every question that I'll be answering in this video. And that is, do you have a boyfriend? And if not, do you have a crush? No, there's no hidden like boyfriend or whatever and no I currently do not have a crush where are you from slash where did you live so currently I live in California in the US but I originally am from Minnesota in the US if you didn't already know what do you want to do in the future so I'm gonna guess that this has something to do with like college and honestly I have no idea I do have plans to go to college in the future but I don't know like what I want to study or if I want to do like a certain job yet I'm not sure about that what is your middle name? So my middle name is Grace. What are all your social media accounts? So in the beginning of every video, it always pops up in one of these corners. I don't know which one, but I'll put it on the screen now and it tells you guys all my socials. So that is TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest, and obviously YouTube. When is your birthday and how old are you? My birthday is February 19th and I am 14 years old. Okay, hi vlog. It is currently 1.30 a.m. You can't see my phone, but it's 1.30. And I have been sitting in my bed watching YouTube for the past like hour I want to say I don't really know but I've started to yawn a little bit more and obviously that means I'm tired and so I figured I need to pick up the camera before I fall asleep I don't know I've kind of been bored so I've just been watching YouTube and I wanted to watch a movie but I couldn't figure out what movie I wanted to watch welcome back to another segment of answering your guys's questions so the topic for these next questions is going to be school so the first question is how do you feel about high school if you guys don't already know. I'm going to be starting high school next year. I'm currently in eighth grade. The 2021-2022 school year for me will be ninth grade as a freshman. Are you online or in person for school? So currently when I'm filming this video, it was actually my last day of like hybrid today for school to kind of explain how my school year has been. We started off all online and then we moved to hybrid where half of us would go Tuesdays and Thursdays and the other half would go Wednesdays and Fridays and then we'd just be like all virtual for Monday. Monday. So we've been doing hybrid for the majority of the year and I actually really enjoy it But starting on April 27th, which is a Tuesday We are going to be doing all in person Which means we're coming back with the other half of the school that I haven't seen in over a year And then Mondays will stay virtual So it'll be like Mondays are on zoom and then Tuesdays through Fridays. I'll be at school. Are you popular at school? No, I would say I'm the type of person where like I know and talk to a lot of people, but I wouldn't necessarily necessarily consider myself popular and the last question of this school topic is are you a straight-a student I don't want to say that I am and then people say like I'm a nerd but like I care about my grades so I honestly try in my classes so for the answer to the question I would say I am but I do care about my grades so I actually try in my classes that is it for our school question topic thing it's currently 140 now and I kind of just want to do some online shopping this was something that a lot of you guys recommended when I asked you on Instagram some like all-nighter ideas I did get a lot of suggestions to do like baking or like going outside at 3 a.m Not exactly sure why but you see I kind of want to just do an all-nighter in my room because I'm lazy And I don't want to leave my room and I have a feeling I would disturb others in my house So we are sticking to my room and I think what I'm gonna do now is online shop and I'm gonna take you guys along with me okay so here's the setup for online shopping I don't plan on spending like a lot a lot of money but I do plan on buying like a couple things okay so I think I want to go to cotton on first 
Hey vlog, so when I first started online shopping, I hadn't noticed that my camera actually died. I've been online shopping for a while now. It is currently 2.55 in the morning and I finally have decided on items that I wanna buy. I'll be buying from my two main places that I buy from, which is Princess Polly and PacSun. So I'm gonna turn on screen recording and show you guys what I picked out. So I'm gonna start off with Princess Polly. The first thing that I picked out was this like brown brown crop top tank top type thing. I want another brown like clothing item and I thought this one was so cute. The next thing I picked out is this mini skirt and it is the color blue. This is what it looks like. So it's this pretty like flowy design and then it has a light blue with these red and white flowers on it. Super cute and I've been wanting a new skirt so I figured this one was perfect. And then lastly from Princess Polly I'm getting this tote bag. It is literally so cute. I mean, look at it. How can you say that that's not adorable? Moving on to PacSun, the first thing I'm buying is this crew neck. So I've been wanting this like Yosemite sweatshirt or crew neck for a while now and this one is like a sage green color and it's adorable so I kind of just had to get it. And then the second thing I'm getting from PacSun are these denim mom shorts. I literally donated all of my jean shorts and I only have one pair currently. They're black and they're from Target. It. and I have bought these before except in a smaller size so I'm sizing up and then getting them again because they're just adorable. Okay so I put the orders in and it's currently 3 a.m. I did not think I was gonna make it till 3 a.m. because usually I can barely make it till like 12 a.m. but we're still going strong. I'm getting a little bit tired. I think I'll probably go to bed by 4. I don't really know. I am hungry and I have one more snack that I've actually been saving and they're veggie straws. If you guys have never had these before, they're kind of like chips in a way, but they're made out of vegetables and they're actually delicious. So I would recommend you guys try these if you ever are interested. But I'm gonna have these and answer my last set of questions for you guys, which is actually like the advice topic. So all of your questions that involved me giving advice advice I put all in one like topic so while I'm giving you guys advice I'm going to be eating my veggie straws I got the questions here on my computer I don't know about you guys my favorite out of the three like flavors in here is the red or like the orange ones and my least favorite are the green because they're like spinach flavored but I honestly like them all the first question in this advice category is do you have insecurities about your body and how do you deal with them so I feel like everybody has insecurities about their body I mean it's kind of like a humanly thing so yeah of course I do but ways that I deal with them is one I kind of try to like ignore them like whenever I look in the mirror like when I'm trying on an outfit or something I try not to focus on my insecurities and just try to focus on like I don't know how to like explain this but like I just try to ignore the insecurities just be my best self like nobody cares do you have any advice on boys so I'm 14 I don't have much experience with boys. I mean, I have friends who are boys. So I guess you could call them like guy friends. I've never had a boyfriend. I mean, if you're asking me for dating advice, I have none. I mean, if you want to have friends that are guys, I would kind of suggest it. I like friend groups that are both boys and girls. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. How do you deal with stress? There's a couple ways that I deal with stress. One of the ways is like writing everything that I need to get done on like a paper or something you know like the things that are just making me feel stressed like are usually just things I need to get done so I'll write them all down and I'll set like a time and a date when I'm gonna try to get as much of it done so that I'm not stressed about it another thing is time management like I just try to get better at it so I don't feel stressed and then my last question for this advice section is do you receive hate and how do you deal with it so I feel like every content creator gets hate I don't really want to call myself like a content creator because I'm not like well okay Okay, never mind. I am a content creator because I create content. I feel like anybody on social media that has some sort of platform gets hate no matter what because there are just people out there who do it just to, I don't know, be mean or whatever. So yes, I do receive hate. Um, some ways that I deal with it is I try my best not to let it get to me and most of the time it doesn't. So like if I see a rude comment or something like that, I literally just delete it and forget about it. There have been some comments here and there that kind of stick with me, but like I said, I just try 
try to forget about it and then if it really bothers me then I'll just like talk to somebody about it and if you ever receive hate please remember that they're literally just idiots that want to make themselves feel better by making other people feel bad so don't let them get to you don't let them get a reaction end of story there you go you're all good but that is all the questions I have for like this whole video like I said if you have any more comment them down below and I will try my best to get to them and answer them it's currently 3 20 I think I might watch more YouTube or maybe go on TikTok and then whenever I'm done with that I'll update you guys on what's happening later hi guys so another update it's 3 45 and I am tired I'm also quite bored and I don't have anything else that I really want to do and I don't want to be sitting on TikTok for the whole night so what I'm gonna do now is clean up go brush my teeth because I didn't do that before my shower for a reason because I knew I was gonna eat a snack because I knew I was gonna be hungry. All right guys, so it is officially 4 a.m. and I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video because I am tired. I actually stayed up way later than I was expecting myself to, but I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!